Hello everyone, welcome to my Wushu class. My name is Vasco and I want to help you improve your Wushu. In this video I'm going to tell you how you can revolutionize your performance with three tips every great Wushu athlete did, especially in their first years of training. Remember, this is something no one else can do for you, not even your coach. If you recall, in my first presentation video, I told you that I learned a lot from observation. And I'll admit, I'm a very visual person. I can't forget a face I haven't seen in 10 years. And I usually rely a lot on my visual memory when I'm driving somewhere and I don't, I don't really remember how to get there. And that just means I'm, I get more from observation. Maybe you get more from listening, and that's okay. Either way, this first tip will help you dramatically change your performance. It's about watching Wushu videos. Okay? This is especially important if you don't have someone you can look up to in your training, because maybe you train alone. But even if you do, this is a very helpful tip. Nowadays, this is so easy. You have YouTube, you have Yoku, which is the Chinese version, I think. It's uh, Y-O-K-U. And with that, you have access to more Wushu videos than you can ever watch. So start digging, okay? Get in there and start digging. Uh, watch and rewatch your favorite performances. Use slow motion. Uh, do it frame by frame like I did. Try to get the most of it, okay? Let all that information sink in your mind. Even if you don't get anything else, your mind will pick up on that spirit and the, the rhythm of those performances. So, if you do that, slowly, okay, you'll embody what your mind already picked up. Okay? This is so important, to the point that I've watched people who have trained for many, many years, and even now, they don't, have, they don't quite have that, that feeling, you know, that, that, that style or that rhythm, that something that you can't really point the finger to it, but you know there's something off about it. The second tip is about comparing yourself to the videos you watched. Yes, you have to record yourself. And I should probably warn you, uh, there's a good chance you'll feel disappointed the first few times you watch yourself in video. But that's when you start evolving to a new stage. Okay, in Wushu, every detail can make a very big difference. And yes, your coach will help you pick up on those details. But trust me, it's very different when you watch yourself perform in video. Okay? Sometimes you'll even get those aha moments when you finally understand what your coach has been trying to say to you all along. Still, there are a couple of things you should consider about this. Okay, first is try to identify every detail and train all of them. But then, try to narrow it down to one single tip. Okay? One feeling that you know can get everything else aligned. Okay, that, that's something you have to do for yourself, okay? you, you have to experience that and find that one tip that will help you align everything, that one thing you have to focus that will help you get every detail right. Okay? Uh, for example, when, I, when, I, when performing the Xuan Fei Zhao, I, I showed you in the, in the previous video, um, I used to think about everything I needed to do, okay? so I need to turn my head, I need to close my, my legs after I kick. I need to stretch them, I need to bring my arms closer. Okay, everything. And as you can probably guess, thinking about every detail in that split second I get in the air, it's not very easy. So I started including this exercise to my workout routine. The feeling got more familiar to the point that when performing the Xuan Fei Zhao, I wouldn't try to think about all those details. I would just try to reach for that feeling of that exercise I showed you, of that position, okay? I would just think about that. The other thing you should consider about filming yourself is whether, you're, whether you are or, or you aren't disrupting your class, okay? Obviously, you should first um, speak with your coach and if it's not possible, then leave the filming, the filming part for the end of the training. Finally, the third tip is train smarter. 
Okay? If you're looking to significantly change the way you perform a certain movement or execute a specific jump, you don't just want to train harder, you want to train smarter. Okay? Training smarter means you don't just repeat the exercise in a mechanical way. You think about what you're doing. You think about all the tips you want to include in that exercise. Okay? And most importantly, you pay attention to the way you feel when performing all those tips you want to include. Okay? Again, and I can't stress this enough, if you look for the overall feeling, you'll find it much easier to improve. In summary, you want to watch Wushu videos, okay? you can use YouTube or Yoku. You want to compare yourself to those videos, okay? so you need to record yourself. And third, you want to train smarter. Okay? You want to think about what you're doing and pay attention to the way it feels when you're doing that exercise. And that's it for today everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to like and share. Subscribe to get the notifications. I have a lot of great stuff coming up so stay tuned and zai